Uh, good evening and welcome to this uh, new tutorial a, uh, on planar kinetic equations of motion uh, dealing with the translation. Um, this question is from Hibbler's book, 13th edition, uh, 1728. Uh, in your notes, this is example 7, uh, lecture 18. Uh, this example is in page 14 in your notes. So uh, here we're going to deal with a case of uh, an assembly being lifted with the uh, cables uh, by a crane or a winch and um, the boom the boom here is um, handling uh, the lifting of this um, uh, assembly. So the assembly has a mass of 8 megagrams uh, which is uh, 8,000 um, 8, kilograms and um, uh, and is hoisted using the boom and bully system if the winch B the winch B um, it draws in the cable with an acceleration of two meters per second square so the winch here the reel here is taking the cable at an acceleration of two meters per second squared uh, you are required here to determine the compressive force um, in the hydraulic cylinder uh, so he, here is the hydraulic cylinder and you are required to calculate how much force is uh, taking um, as a result of the lifting of this assembly to support the boom so this uh, hydraulic cylinder is supporting this uh, boom uh, the boom has a mass of 2 megagrams so it is uh, 2000 kilograms so the mass of this system is 2 kilograms so I can write it down but um, I can save some space here so we know that the mass of this uh, system is 2 megagrams which is 2000 uh, kilograms now uh, at, uh, and, the, and, and the center of mass of this boom is at G so first first uh, we should start calculating for the major things major things that are going are going to be included in the equations of motion so the weight of assembly is is equal to uh, mass times gravity and it is equal to 8000 uh, kilograms times 9.81 and this is equal to 78480 newtons so this is the weight of the assembly uh, for the weight of the boom is equal to m times g again and this is equal to 2000 kilograms times 9.81 and this is equal to 19620 uh, newtons so we have the the uh, we have we have now calculated the two uh, weights in the system now for this cable system we can notice that uh, we have here two cables and here, here we have one cable so we can uh, with with the with, uh, with this uh, at this point as as a datum we can uh, calculate the acceleration of uh, of this assembly with reference to the take two cables here so if we if we take the bully here at this point and we say okay uh, we have here um, uh, a bully here and it's connected to another smaller bully and this smaller bully is connected to this big bully at this point and we have here another cable so the cable here is 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 is, 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 is taking this path to this uh, to this bully and or we can take it at another point whatever 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 we have uh, we can say okay this is um, can take this guy sorry and we say okay this is the 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 um, the, the bully here and we say okay this is uh, the, at, 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 at this at, at point F and we can say this is uh, it's going to point uh, B of course here so we say at point B and here it's point F and we can say okay the total length of the cable is equal to uh, 1 SB 1 SB plus the total uh, plus uh, two of sfs so we say two uh, sb sorry plus two of sfs and uh, we uh, take the derivative uh, twice to, e to 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 come up with this equation symbol equation to af and in the end of the day af here is going to equal to minus ab over two 
and we know already that AB is 2 meters per second squared so AF here is going to equal to minus 2 over 2 is equal to minus 1 meters per second squared the minus here doesn't do anything it just indicates to the direction of this assembly as it's going up it's it is going up a with a, with a distance with an acceleration of one meters per second up so this equals to one meters per second squared up so uh, just in, to indicate at the direction of the assembly as it's being lifted now if we if we go uh, and calculate for uh, the forces acting on the assembly itself we can draw a, a free body diagram of the assembly itself and we say okay here is the weight here is the weight of the assembly it is going down and um, we have here uh, two cables connected to the assembly itself so we have here two T's two T now and it is going in this direction so this direction the direction uh, uh, with which the assembly is going to is the positive is the positive direction and we say okay um, the summation of all forces in the direction of y is equal to the mass of assembly times the the acceleration of the assembly which is uh, point f and we say uh, 2t minus uh, 2t minus the weight of the assembly is equal to the mass of the assembly times the acceleration of the assembly and we say okay uh, 2t minus uh, 7 8 4 8 0 which is the weight of the assembly newtons of course and the mass is uh, 8000 kilograms times the acceleration which is 1 which is 1 uh, and we say okay solving this equation would give us the tension in the cable to be uh, 4 3 2 for zero newtons so this is the tension this is the tension in the cable this is the tension in the cable now we need to calculate we need to look now uh, at the boom itself we, we need to study what forces act on it uh, in this situation so uh, we can look at it we can look at the at the winch uh, from uh, from a different for, from the perspective of what forces act on it so first of all starting from the cables we have here two cables so we can say okay at this point we have uh, two 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 forces represented by the tension so we say okay going down going down here so we have uh, two t's because we have two cables uh, going down a bit so at the center of gravity we have the weight of the of the boom itself is going down the, the boom itself it is going down weight of the boom and the uh, the force of the hydraulic cylinder is going up it is going up so the cylinder acts on the boom in the in the y in the positive y direction and we name it fdc or fcd whatever um, and we say at this uh, at this joint we have two reactions uh, in the x and y directions so we have here ax but of course we don't take into account the ax because there's no force in the, in the x direction to balance this so ax is by definition is equal to zero but we of course have here the ay is uh, it is going down it is going down so here we here we identify what forces act on the uh, and the boom uh, in the situation uh, so to calculate for the forces uh, we start from the forces in the x direction so it's a summation of forces in the x direction is equal to uh, m uh, ax of course of course the boom itself doesn't go uh, back and forth doesn't go anywhere so ax here is equal to zero and here we have the only ax in the minus direction so we say here to zero and ax of course is equal to zero right and uh, we take uh, the summation of all forces in the y direction is equal to m a y and of course again the boom itself the boom so doesn't go up or doesn't go down it is fixed so it has no acceleration in the y direction and we it's gonna say okay what forces in the y direction we start from here so we have minus 2t minus 2t uh, and we have minus uh, wb 
and we have the positive FCD and we have here the minus AY minus AY and this is equal to zero uh, we just kind of substitute the numbers and we say uh, zero because the boom it, it is not going anywhere it just fixed it has no accelerations so we're going to substitute the numbers four three uh, two four zero minus one nine six two zero plus FCD minus AY and this is equal to zero um, now um, rearranging everything FCD uh, minus AY is going to give us this uh, equation uh, one zero zero so this is the equation that we would need now uh, later to solve for the for the unknowns FCD and AY if we take the moment around, if we take the, the, the summation of moment around point, let's say, point A here, uh, it's going to, of course, it's going to equal to zero because the boom itself is not rotating with any angular acceleration up or down or uh, counterclockwise or uh, clockwise. It is fixed. So we are pretty confident to say that the summation, the summation of all moments around point A is equal to zero and taking that the positive direction uh, is the, uh, the, the is the counterclockwise direction um, i'm going to take a, a sec and uh, because i'm going to keep this page in a certain way um, and i want i'm going to substitute the uh, the the, the, in, uh, the uh, with uh, the equations the the, the forces that uh, that exert a moment around point a so i'm going to say okay i'm going to start with this guy it is going down it is going in the negative direction of the moment and it is the distance so the distance actually is uh, 6 plus 2 8 plus 4 12 and so the the the, 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 the the vertical direction with respect to the direction of the force is equal to 12 cosine cosine 60 12 cosine 60 so the entire distance from here to the line of action is uh, 12 cosine 60 so I'm gonna say uh, minus 2 minus 2t of course this guy uh, times uh, 12 cosine 60 we're gonna take this guy and now the moment that this moment uh, force is good doing is 2 plus 4 is 6 cosine 60 so I'm gonna say minus WB uh, times uh, 6 cosine 60 the same way the same way that we treated the original distance 12 cosine 60 and this force of course is doing a positive moment because our thumb is up so I'm gonna say F C D times the distance here is this distance uh, time uh, times cosine 60 times cosine 60 so it's gonna say 4 cosine 60 this is equal to 0 uh, substituting everything uh, all the unknowns that we already in, in knew and calculated for this would give us uh, FCD to be equal to to two eight 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 seven zero Newton uh, taking this value and substituting here in the equation of the summation of forces in the y direction would give us a y to be equal to one eighty two seven seven zero Newtons so this is the force of the AY. This is the force of the hydraulic cylinder. So the uh, of the hydraulic cylinder. So the hydraulic cylinder is withstanding is withstanding force that is equal to uh, two hundred eighty eight eighty eight seven two hundred eighty eight eighty seven newtons. Thank you for watching.